What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And today there was some leaked information that is very interesting. Uh, one of the probably bigger uh, names on Twitter that leaks a lot of information kind of, kind of surrounding Call of Duty, the MW2 Ghost, has leaked that there is going to be a league play in Black Ops Cold War. There are certain challenges that are showing uh, in the game, uh, in some files and things like that, that are linked to league play. Also, some cool zombie uh, challenges as well. But I will link this article down in the description if you'd like to read over it. Uh, he claimed that the in-game challenge found in the files of uh, Black Ops Cold War is heavily, uh, heavily indicating a league play mode featuring either at launch or at post-launch. There's a challenge in Black Ops Cold War for league play. While this is not, of course, confirmed by Treyarch or anything like that, of course, this is just leaks. Um, I, I think this is is pretty cool because League Play in Black Ops 2 was probably one of the most popular uh, kind of competitive uh, playlists that have ever been in any Call of Duty game. And I know a lot of people are wondering, kind of like myself, why did they not bring back League Play year in and year out? Now, definitely, that they're showing that they can you know go from game to game with Warzone, I think there should always be something like League Play from Black Ops 2 in every Call of Duty. One reason is I know pro players like to use use it as a tool to play, you know, if they're not uh, practicing or something like that, not playing in a tournament, not playing in their season, it's still good for them to hop in and get practice. Also, I'm a big fan of it. A lot of the just core players that want to play something a little bit more, you know, uh, team oriented, like to play it. And I also think it's very good for the game overall. The main reason being, and of course, this may not always be the case in every single COD, may not be the case this year. But it does seem if you have a ranked playlist that actually does rank you, that actually plays you against people that are, you know, similar skill level, that kind of thing, that um, you don't have to worry as much about skill-based matchmaking in the base or core multiplayer. Now, will that necessarily be the case? Who knows? Um, in my opinion, I, I think it's better to have a, a ranked kind of playlist that is, you know, pro kind of league rules, that kind of thing. Like I said, I think they should always have had something like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2's League Play. Now, while other CODs, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, uh, even some of the uh, other games that Treyarch did not make have had ranked playlist, none of them have ever really uh, compared to the ranked playlist in Black Ops 2. Now, of course, um, David Vanderhaar did say uh, about a week ago on Twitter that, uh, of course, somebody asked about ranked you know, why is there such a, a strong skill-based matchmaking in, in, in core mo modes and, and not a mention of ranked? And he said, he, uh, he answered, has there ever been a Black Ops game without a competitive agenda? More info coming soon. He said, of course, no ranked mode in the beta. So, of course, when people read that, they were really excited, uh, hoping that we would get a, a more complete style ranked mode. Because, like I said, Black Ops 4 did have a ranked mode, but it was not as good, in my opinion, uh, as uh, as Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 has definitely been the pinnacle for ranked in Call of Duty. I know a lot of people look at uh, like Halo 3 and how that system worked as well. Uh, those are probably the two best ranked systems in any uh, kind of just multiplayer game that I've ever played. Now, like I said, hopefully, uh, if this is true, like I said, of course, this is rumor. Treyarch has not confirmed it yet, but from David Vanderhaar's tweet, we should be getting some kind of information about uh, ranked, hopefully very soon, or a competitive style playlist I'm hoping that this will help with the skill-based matchmaking in core multiplayer. Because in my opinion, I understand that you have to have skill-based matchmaking. It's been in every single COD because you have that bottom 10% that are just not really that good. They're just not great players. Uh, they never have been great players, and that's perfectly fine. They should still be able to enjoy the game without getting into lobbies with people that are the very top percentile players. And kind of on the flip side of that, you have that top 10% that does not need to be in the lobbies with just everybody. Uh, so I understand you have to have skill-based matchmaking to kind of even out the bottom tier and the top tier and the kind of in-between as well. But over the last several years, it seems like, and definitely with Modern Warfare, uh, it seems like the skill-based matchmaking has turned up. Uh, there's been a lot of, uh, of talks about this, uh, asking, you know, can you change this? How does this work? A lot of people say that it's not definitely, not necessarily the developers uh, doing. A lot of it's to do with Activision as well, trying to 
uh, get people, you know, some more hardcore players to play, but at the same time to get that base kind of community that it's just the casual players to play. It, overall, I don't really like the system, but like I said, it's been around COD forever, and there's really nothing you can do about it now. Uh, but like I said, they can kind of turn it up or turn it down, kind of tune it to be, you know, a lot more strict, a lot less strict. And I think if we do have a rank system, uh, you definitely can turn or tune down the skill-based matchmaking. That way, if you just want to go play pubs, you know, just pub stomp, that kind of thing, you have the option to do that. But you're not going to be in games that are just easy all the time. But at the same time, on the other end, if you want to play something more competitive, uh, 4v4 kind of rules, uh, same kind of set of rules that the pro players use, you can hop in and play the ranked playlist. And I'm really hoping they're going to revamp the Black Ops 2 playlist uh, of ranked, you know, and kind of keep that system. And hopefully, if that is the case, they do bring this back. Now that we know that they can take Warzone from a Call of Duty title to Call of Duty title, I hope they can eventually find a way to bring this uh, ranked playlist from Call of Duty title to Call of Duty title. Because, I, I mean, a lot of times I enjoy playing core, but at the same time, I really enjoy playing ranked and when I get into playing ranked I really have a great time playing it you're not playing games that are necessarily going to be easy but at the same time you're not necessarily playing games that are going to be hard you're going to be playing people on a similar skill level so they're always very competitive and it's always very enjoyable to play you know that rule set that the pro players use the rule set the players you or pro players use for weapons and kill streaks and things like that I just really enjoy it anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts are you happy to hear this leak about a ranked playlist and of course if you liked the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right uh, corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have a chance to share the video please do it does help out the channel a lot and please check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel gt racing and i'll catch you all next time peace